Before you begin, you'll need to turn your power off at the circuit breaker. Confirm the power is off by flipping the switch you're going to replace on and off. On a Maestro dimmer, there are four connections. The green wire is your ground. There is one black screw, there is one brass screw, and there is one blue screw. For multi-location dimming with Maestro dimmers, a companion dimmer must be placed in all other locations. These companion dimmers will have the same screw terminals as the master. With the power off at the breaker, pull the switch you are replacing away from the wall. Before disconnecting your old device, look at the screw colors on the side of the switch. Take a piece of electrical tape and tag the wire connected to the screw that is a different color than the remaining two. Knowing which wire this is will be important when hooking up your new dimmer. Take the ground wire off the existing switch and connect it to the green wire on the dimmer. Remove the tagged wire from the old switch and connect it to the black colored screw on the dimmer. Remove the other two wires from the switch and connect them to the remaining two screws on the dimmer one to brass and one to blue. In this example, we are choosing to place the red wire on the blue screw. Place the dimmer in the wall and install the wall plate. Before turning the power back on, remove the other switch from the wall box. Before disconnecting your old device, look at the screw colors on the side of the switch. Take a piece of electrical tape and tag the wire connected to the screw that is a different color than the remaining two. Knowing which wire this is will be important when hooking up your new dimmer. Take the ground wire off the existing switch and connect it to the green wire on the dimmer. Remove the tagged wire from the old switch and connect it to the black colored screw on the dimmer. Remove the other two wires from the switch and connect them to the remaining two screws on the dimmer, one to brass and one to blue. Make sure that the same color wire is used on the blue screws at each location. 
Remember that the red wire was connected to the blue screw at the first location. Finish by placing the dimmer in the wall, turning the power back on, and making sure everything works. A quick double tap will turn your lights to 100%. A single tap will turn your lights on to the last light level. If everything is wired correctly, the companion devices should function in the same manner as the master control.